All right, ladies and gentlemen, the last example that I'm going to uh, go over is Tyler. Uh, in on this one, um, what we're basically going to be doing is rather than giving you guys two points, rather than giving you two points um, or giving you a slope and a point, now I'm going to give you guys an equation. And some of you guys might prefer a lot um, doing these problems. Because basically, if we want to rewrite this in slope intercept form, we already have everything, we already have an equation. We just need to convert that equation to that format. And what you guys can see, the only difference between this format and that format is my y variable is isolated. So this is actually going to be something that we have already done before in this class. Solve for the y variable. So we're going to isolate it using our inverse operations. So when you guys look at this problem, basically what you can see is circle the variable and say, all right, what is happening to my variable? You can see my variable is being multiplied by negative 3. And it's being added by 2x. Why do you say it's being added by 2x? Because that's a positive 2x. Okay. So the first thing we always undo when solving for y is always undo addition and subtraction first. So I undo adding 2x by subtracting 2x. We don't want to write it 8 minus 2x. We want to have the x in front of you before your constant. So we'll now write this as negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 8. Now, to solve for my y, again, I like to circle it because I'm not doing anything to the y. I'm just undoing everything that's happening to it. Now, you can see my y is being multiplied by negative 3. So I divide by negative 3. Now, when we were doing this last class period, or um, last, last chapter, I would allow you guys to leave it in this kind of format. But now that we're writing things in slope-intercept form, we want to be able to separate the mx and the b. So I need to make sure I understand that this is negative 2x plus 8. That expression is being divided by negative 3. That means I need to divide both of them, both of those terms, by negative 3. What is more complicated? Huh? I'm doing it. What is more complicated with it? Explain to me. The way that you calculate, make sure you go into every single step. And it's like it ends up confusing because it's too much to remember. OK. Um, so now, basically, what you're going to have is y equals negative 2x divided by negative 3 plus 8 divided by negative 3. So y equals 2 thirds x minus 8 thirds. And that will be your final answer with that. OK?